All right, so this is still, um, this is section, what, 1-3, right? Yep. So we're doing the last little part. We're doing where they give you a midpoint, and you're trying to find the end point. So um, here we go. I'll do it both ways, all right, so that you can see. I mean, it's really the same way, but anyway, you'll see. So they say that E is the midpoint. E is the midpoint of line segment DF. All right? So that's what they tell you right at the beginning. That's the instructions. And then here's a problem. They give you point F, which is 2, 9. And they give you point E, which is negative 1, 6. What do you think they're asking for then? The other end point. What, what would the other end point be? They give you point F. What's the other end point? D. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to set it up like this. We don't know what it is, so what are we going to call it? XY. Very good. So we'll call it XY. So if you want, you can put this into your little midpoint formula, couldn't you? So the midpoint, I'll tell you what, let's write the midpoint formula down one more time. All right. Midpoint is what? It's x1 plus x2 over 2, and then it's y1 plus y2 over 2. Everybody with me? So what do we know? We know the midpoint. This right here is our midpoint. So we're going to put that in where that spot right there is. Everybody see that? So I'm going to write it as an ordered pair, negative 1, 6 <laughs> equals. Now we fill in here. Now look, these are our two endpoints. What's our two endpoints? x and 2, and then the y and the 9. So just add those up. So it's x plus 2, what? Divided by 2 over y plus 9. And that's over 2. And then we can just set these equal to each other. So what's equal? So this x is equal to that. Okay. This one's equal to this, negative 1. And then um, this y is equal to that right there. Everybody see that? OK, so what we're going to do is we're just going to set that equal to each other. So let's do it. x plus 2 over 2 equals negative 1. So that's the first one. I guess I could have, let's keep this in the same color, color coordinated. How's that? OK, and then. What? y plus 9 over 2. What's that equal to? 6. So now we just go ahead and we do some algebra and we're basically done, aren't we? It's pretty easy once you set it up. So what's our math? Multiply both sides by 2, right? So we multiply that by 2. What do you get? You get x plus 2 equals negative 2. Subtract 2 from both sides. And x equals negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. So that's, the, that's half of it. That's the x part. We do the same thing over here with the y. Multiply both sides by 2. It's a little bit of work, but it's not hard work, is it? It's a little bit of writing, but it's, the math is pretty simple. Subtract a 9 from both sides, and y is 3. So what's our final answer for that, mid, for that other endpoint? It's negative 4, 3. Exactly right. So it's negative 4, 3. Three. That's our other endpoint, which would be point what? I forget the letters. D, right? So that would be point D right there. That's our other endpoint. So there you go. You could do it that way. Make sense? All right. Or you could have done this. What color haven't we used? Purple? Like, blue. I haven't used blue yet? Okay. All right. Um, so again, what did they do? They gave us, yeah, I don't think the black would show up very well. So what did they give us again? Let's do this from scratch. Let's do this from scratch, but we're, we're basically doing the same thing. But how did we get this little shortcut method? We got it from what we just finished doing, didn't we? All right, so um, what do we got? We got point F is 2, 9. That's the same points, right? And then E is negative 1, 6. Please excuse homeroom 6C, Mr. Cheadle's class. To the and then we don't know D, level. do we? So um, let's put it. Let's put D right here. Since these are the two endpoints, let's put them right next to each other, and that's x, y. Is that all right? So this is our midpoint. These are our two endpoints. So do you remember what we did? Look over here. We took this was part of our midpoint. So we took the midpoint. We multiplied it by two, didn't we? And then we subtracted the other endpoint from it. So if you see what we did there, 
if you can remember that, and sometimes that's the hardest thing is just remembering what to do. Take the midpoint and do what to it? Negative 1 times what? Times 2, right? Once we multiply that by 2, then what do we do? Take away the other endpoint. Everybody see that? So this is negative 2 minus 2, which is negative 4. So that's our x. Then we do the same thing with the y. We take that midpoint, we multiply it by 2, and then what do you do with it? Take away the 9, right, the, from the midpoint. So that's 12 minus 9 is 3. So you could do it that way as well, couldn't you? All right, so what's your, what's your midpoint, or what's your endpoint, sorry? Negative 4, 3. And that's your answer right there. It's less work, but it's really doing the same exact thing. It's doing the same exact thing. It's just a little bit less writing. The problem is you've got to remember. You've got to remember to take the midpoint, multiply it by 2, then subtract the other endpoint from it. Yeah, I'm right there. Like right here? The one that we did earlier? Yeah, the first version. Like where? Tell me when. Like that? No, keep going. What? I didn't want above this one right, the, the line right here. Oh, the straight one? Yeah. Yeah? Like that? What about it? That's easier than this confusing thing you just told me. Well, right here, you're you're at, they're asking you to find the midpoint on this no, one. No, I'm talking about the first the first example you did of finding the uh endpoint. Yeah. I know, then you want made me go up too far. Oh, I'm sorry. It's this one right here. Right? Yeah, that one. Well, that's the one we just did. Actually, it's this one right here. <laughs> it's this one. This is the one we did. This is the first one we did today. Okay? It wasn't recorded, but we did it earlier. Yeah. Okay. So what do you do? You take the, the midpoint, right? Multiply it by 2, which is 8, right and then take three. away... Huh? Are those coordinates right there? The four the yeah, the 4, 3 is a coordinate. Yeah. See? We got it from here. All right? That's where we got it from. So this is 4... Because we, I drew over top of it and yeah, stuff. Okay, so 4, 3. So what do we do? We take 2, what? Times 4, and then what? Take away 5. Okay, this one we do what? 2 times 3, take away 8. Right? That's exactly what we did. So you put the F with the X and the Y, and you put the E to the side. Forget the letters. Look, do this. Take the midpoint. Look, watch this. Take the midpoint and double it, okay? Then take away the end point from it. If you can do that, you can do the whole thing. So take the midpoint, multiply it by 2. So if you multiply that by 2, you get 8, right? Take away the other end point, because like you only know one of the end points, right? It is. It's exactly right. That's what I kept on saying. This is exactly backwards of actually finding the midpoint. So if they give you the midpoint, we just go the opposite direction, right? Instead of adding the endpoints together and dividing by 2, what do we do? We multiply by 2, right, and then take away the endpoint. It's complete backwards because we said that right at the beginning. Do you remember that? Okay, and that's what it is. So if you can remember how to find the endpoint, or sorry, if you can find how, how to find the midpoint, you should just go backwards to be able to find the endpoint, right? It's just going backwards. Make sense? All right. I'll tell you what, there's one more. Let's try it on your own, okay? I'll write this one out and just see if you can do it. I bet you can do it in just a matter of a few seconds. Let's go to this. That's orange. That's pretty. Let's do that one. All right, so again, E is the midpoint. You've already written that down, haven't you? E is the midpoint. All right, so they give you point D in this one, which is negative 3, negative 8. That's one of your endpoints, isn't it? And they give you E, which is a midpoint which is 1, negative 2. And they ask for the other point, which is F. All right, what there you go. I don't know. You tell me. Write it down. Look at your notes on what we did. Follow the steps on what we did, and then we'll go over it in a second here. All right, you could go through the whole thing and set up the midpoint formula and then do your algebra and all that. But we don't have to do that every single time now, right? We kind of got into the swing of things. So what do we do? We take the what? Take the midpoint, right? And then do what to it? Multiply it by 2, and then do what to that? Take away the other endpoint, right? So we take away what? Not just a 3, but a negative 3. Make sure you under 
make sure you do that. Okay, you're subtracting a negative. So this is 2, right, that's the same as plus, and so our x part is 5, isn't it? Don't circle it because we're going to write it as a, as a point, as a midpoint. Okay, we'll circle it in a little bit. Now you just do the same thing with the y. So what's the y part of the midpoint? Negative 2, multiply it by 2, and then what do you do with that? Take away what? A negative 8, good. So this is negative 4, this is plus 8, negative 4 plus 8 is 4. So now you write it as a mid or as an endpoint. So you write it as 5, 4, and that's your answer right there. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's not so hard, is it? You can do it the other way, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. I mean that's just kind of this is just kind of like a shortcut way. It's not really another way. It really isn't. It's the same way except we're just kind of getting rid of some stuff, right? We're just not writing as much as all this, okay? But this is a good but look, I think it's important to learn this because if you forget, you get on a test. Oh, what do we do? Do I take the endpoint multiplied by 2 or take the midpoint multiplied by 2? Man, I can't remember. So if you get to that situation, you can always set it up like this, can't you? Midpoint equals, these are your two endpoints. The, right here, are your two endpoints divided by 2. And so you just set this equal to this, this one right here equal to this, and then do your math. All right? The math is the same, isn't it? Look what we did. Look at our algebra. What did we do? We multiplied by 2, and then we subtracted the endpoint, didn't we? Okay, that's why we do all that stuff. All right. Look, that's all on YouTube, okay? If you get confused about it, you can look at it tonight. Um, you have three more problems to do on that worksheet that I gave you. All right, and then that's your homework, okay? It's 19, 20, and 21. So it's still section 1, 3. It's the worksheet, section 1, 3. It, the worksheet is page 20. Remember, this is worksheet. Section 1, 3, page 20. We're doing 19 to 21. So you're basically finishing up that worksheet. All right, so this will be due tomorrow. All right, actually, you got a couple minutes here. All right, no, I'm going to collect it all at once. You got a couple minutes right here, so go ahead and try to at least do one or two of those. All right, see if you can get it done. See, since it's fresh in your mind, all right.